Lawmakers got an earful today regarding a controversial gun bill. If approved, the bill would allow gun owners to carry their weapons inside churches and bars. The venues would have the power to opt out. Today, the sister of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. testified at the Capitol. Dr. Christine oh King Ferris told lawmakers how a man with a gun killed her mother in 1974 inside Ebenezer Baptist Church. Passionate new debate over a controversial gun bill. Our churches are sanctuaries a place of refuge and peace. It astounds me that any church official would be against HB 875. The fight by some church leaders to keep guns out of their houses of worship and why Bill supporters say it's really about protecting your rights. Good evening, I'm John Bachman, in for Justin Farmer. I'm Javita Moore, a showdown at the state capitol over the controversial gun bill as opponents and supporters made their pleas to lawmakers. Channel 2's Lori Geary is live down there at the state capitol. And Lori, the big changes were made to this bill. It was supposed to allow gun owners to bring their weapons into churches and bars. Well, that's right, and it still does. The bill still does that. But up until today, the House was pushing for licensed gun owners to be able to carry their weapons on college campuses. When a surprise move, the House pulled that part of the bill. Still, opponents say they don't like the rest of the bill either. I and my father, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Sr., watched in shock and horror on June 30th, 1974, as a deranged individual shot and killed my mother. That's part of the reason the sister of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. came to testify at the Georgia Capitol to speak against the so-called gun bill. It would allow licensed gun owners to bring their weapons into churches and bars, but leave the final decision up to private property owners. At this packed Senate hearing, Dr. Christine King Ferris recalled when her mother was shot and killed at Ebenezer Baptist Church. No one can tell me that having guns in churches is nothing to worry about. If someone had been there with a weapon, they might, that may not have happened. One of the main backers of the bill argued if concealed weapons were allowed, a licensed gun owner may have stopped that killing. In a surprise move, though, State Representative Alan Powell pulled one of the big sticking points with the Senate, decriminalizing campus carry. They can't hide behind campus carry now. They've got a good reason to vote for the bill. And many supporters told them why. I lost a child in a car accident, and I don't blame the person that drove the car. I don't ask for a ban on cars. The parents of Jamie Bishop disagreed. He was one of two Georgians murdered in the Virginia Tech shooting massacre. If more guns make a society safer, the United States should be the safest nation on this planet. Now, this bill would also allow local school boards to decide whether they want a teacher or administrator armed in each school. This bill has already passed the House. It's now up to the Senate to decide. Reporting live from the state capitol, Lori Geary, Channel 2 Action News. A nonprofit called Americans for Responsible Solutions called the gun bill passed by the Georgia House the most extreme bill in the country. The AJC PolitiFact team evaluated that claim and found it false. The editor of Georgia PolitiFact said the group could argue Georgia is among the most extreme, but it is not the most extreme.